Hi guys, I'm going to show you today my orders from AliExpress. As you can see from the name of the video, these dolls are all from AliExpress. The bodies, the hats, the dollies and so on. Um, I want to start with the, the Monster. It's quite um, popular at the moment. And that's my monster doll and it's fully articulated one six scale doll extremely well made quality is really good I mean you've probably seen a lot of um, videos on unboxing and reviewing of this doll so this doll belongs to the company Xiaomi which produces phones mobile phones and they made it um, it's I mean it's very good the only thing is I don't like is the eyes are drawn, they're not inserts. The door clothes quality is very very good for the scale. Um, I haven't taken it um, out of its clothes. I kind of just peeked in on the body. Articulation is very good. Um, it's not like super double jointed. It is kind of double jointed but it's limited to what this can do for instance compared to um, a bitsu body that's a bitsu which I didn't buy from Ali I just took it out just to show the difference about a bitsu bodies how they can bend the knee compared to the that one well pretty similar but I will be using the body to show something else. I've got a few hats. So the doll comes packed very well. Um, I don't think I'll be keeping it though. Because that's kind of not my style. And um, we'll see. She's probably going to go back to the box. I just was curious about what it's going to be like. People are quite happy with them. Got different face. The grumpy face which I prefer. But green eyes and red hair, that's kind of my cup of tea as well. So that's that one. Um, I've got like loads of heads here and the bodies and some dolls are dressed. I either dressed them or bought them like that. So actually the other similar, well, we on the monst uh, doll. This is a copy. Um, Chinese copy of that doll. Well, I assume it's a copy of the obviously not saying it is, but it looks very similar with like big eyes. The only thing, the eyes actually are inserts and um, it's very plasticky, the body, which is fine. Um, it doesn't have any identification there at all. It came in a in a cute box like that yeah a bit damaged but and with the handbag the clothes quality is rubbish I mean although it's cute but it's not um, in terms of the hair you can see it's pretty bold the routine is bad but that, that was just so cheap I think like five pounds something came with the shoes as well and this body uh, they all kind of similar bodies used on these small dolls I've got four of them all different um, facial expressions my favorite is that one I would say and this one is like a kissing one cute as well this one is shouting or yawning I don't know um, I made this outfits well a long time ago um, this overalls and the dress was a recent one and this doll came as like that um, with the kimono and interestingly um, the quality of the routing is, is 100% better than this one and they all got their eyes plastic one inserts you can't change it the they're not wigs they're like I said they're rooted and 
when I look at the how well they uh, how I mean the hair is pretty good um, you can't complain that they bold or not bold at all and they only cost like three quid naked and I really like cute tiny little dollies I used to like small toys when I was a kid not dolls though I never liked dolls but I like tiny tiny little like toys which like either animals or something all small scale so I quite like these tiny ones and they're so cute and they don't take much space perfect so next one is um, although I don't like anime but I find this girl quite cute and I wanted to see what the body is like and this body is the same as that one I think. Well, I was judging by the by the um, elbow joint, so the identical. The hand, this is hand smaller, but they're the same body, but not the hands. The hands was changed. I don't think it's a branded one either. It doesn't say anything, but it came with the clothes like that and with overall and it's kind of fashion. Um, I think it came with the shoes as well. And uh, I was again under six pounds, I think. But I mean, these dolls, these bodies are probably show better here. They are not a bad quality at all. Um, the articulation is okay. 90 degrees and um, the knee can go um, the same I think with the hand yeah it actually can fold yeah it just can um, so these hands are rubberized they kind of got rubber rubber feel to it there is another body which I quite like actually and that is this chunky one well, no there's not very slightly joined like hip um, mobility joint here not very slightly because it's a plastic flash or something but it has got really nice feel to this body like it's IBS with rubberized things and I think it's kind of some kind of brand because it's actually got something um, written on the back um, I was using this body for Paul Arena and it did work on it not the skin color it's very different. Um, it also came with the nails painted pink. Don't know why. But the articulation of this doll is very good. But again, it's plastic. Uh, so um, I'm kind of mentioned this body. In terms of the this one, I was hoping that this head, which I bought, it's arrived in the today in this plastic bowl and it's custom made head um, so it was originally it was just normal head without the eyes and they put face up on it and uh, that's how they accessed and inserted the eyes in there I think this is amazing quality face up can't really complain I don't know which bodies actually fit because it didn't, it doesn't fit any of these bodies I have, which is one uh, six scale. Um, I suspect it might go in here probably when I hit the the vinyl up here, because it's a vinyl head, similar to what I did with this head, which I received together with the face up head as well. It's also arrived in this plastic ball. And it's like a vampire and I did manage to put it on the body which is slightly smaller than the others slightly smaller than these two just take the clothes off so this is the body you can see it doesn't really 100% match the the head care color but 
I think it's pretty good. I mean, these heads are not cheap though because you actually can buy a, like a BGD head for this price I paid for these painted heads. I leave the link and they I think getting sold out very quickly. It's vinyl as well. I really don't know which company makes them, but obviously it's probably no name. Uh, so the eye, I can change the eyes if I want because it's the same situation here. I can open the head cap in the back, but they just used the um, footage so like a blue tag or green tag in this instance to hold the hole together. I did hit, I had to hit the head up in order to put it on this neck because neck is quite thick. But this is the only body which fits it. So, and the body is pretty good. It's a smaller version of, it's even smaller than that one, so it's probably, I don't know. You can see they kind of different sizes, one six scale. So this star one, I must say, like I said again, I'm really, really impressed by the quality of this head. I tried this head in the uh, Dolphy Dream MDD body, and it's, it looks ridiculous. It seems like this feet is okay but it just doesn't look right because of the neck on on the, one of my D dolphy dream basically mochiashi body is bigger than this hole and that doesn't sit right but it looks like it's a one quarter scale head but i don't know another body it's from fairy fairy dream is similar to what i reviewed in my previous video the one quarter scale this is one six scale i had these bodies before and they're very good um it doesn't it doesn't look right <laughs> unless i i don't know bubble head so i still can't find the, the heads for these like i said originally i actually bought them to try out on my pile rainers ones and on the gorgeous Santoro dolls. The Santoro can sit on this body as well, fine. And there these two look odd and it's not right at all. So if we go to the heads now, I've got about four, five, six heads. Um they one third scale, one, two, three of them. As you can see, I attempted to well I cut it myself actually. And I was attempting to put the eyes in. I don't know what this had for. Um, woman forward body. Because I've got another two one third scale bodies from AliExpress. Um, and it doesn't fit. This head doesn't fit. This one doesn't fit either. But this is like a proper vinyl one. And you can... Think of twist, yeah. It's very big. When I put it on the Dolphy Dream one third scale body, it's just too big as well. It just doesn't look right. However, this head, I really like this one. It's like a sleeping head. It's need a face up. And I don't need to open the back because nothing to put in if I it's a sleeping doll. And um to be fair, um uh, this head possibly is for the body and I'll show you this is the body it's an ABS plastic and it's amazing body I put um, I put a bit so 60 centimeters head uh, thank you for Kim she gifted me the whole Abitsu doll um, and I put her head on this body um, and it's I really like that body is super articulated and I think this had supposed to be on this body. Originally the intention was, in my opinion, but I could be wrong. Um, so, and so I'll show you another one actually. So this probably you are familiar, it's quite popular, this doll. Again, I think it's a not dream for it, so you can, you can or something. And this is more kind of high-end ABS doll. 
it's really good quality and the hand gestures are really good and they super articulated with mobility joints and everything very sturdy i had the doll for a while now i used this head for wigs for one third scale like i use it as a mold to mold my hat cap wigs for all my one third scale dolls like smart dolls even and so on and the face plate um it's very strong magnets and here and this one i don't i think this is too big for dolphin dream heads because it's a bit too thick but you can always adjust so but yeah these heads again this looks too big for it i would say yeah comparing it maybe not too bad actually but this one probably is a bit on the kind of wider side but again you can try because of this my walk actually but the different skin color but this is plastic this is a uh, vinyl doll heads and another had vinyl one i really liked it because you can actually remove can take the back off properly and i do want it but it's so pink it, i don't think you can see on the camera because it's so pink i can't match it to anybody a because of the look how small it is i can't actually find 2017 i think some kind of brand but i don't know which one so i really don't know oh got some even i can to close it so it has got some engravings here but it's a very pretty head but i, can't, I mean it doesn't fit dolphin dream it doesn't fit on this it looks funny on this body so i don't really know what body is supposed to be on right um what else i'm sure okay so these two heads this uh one six scale and i suspect this is supposed to be a copy of obitsu this is my obitsu body and if i hit this neck up i think i mean it's a bit different skin color but obitsu do come with different skin colors it will fit this body quite nice this one probably not so much looks a bit weird but i think it's like a brownie one i don't know they both one obviously but you have to cut the back here if you want to access the eyes and this one yeah quite familiar sculpt though i can't actually think for it's one of the bgd but it's a vinyl hand so they either recasted them in this one or maybe it's a copy of a bit so which i suspect this could be the case um i think that's it uh, i mean in terms of the bodies and hands i mean i was just trying to quickly really show what i've got in terms of dolls from the alley recently i guess like, i'm really really chuffed about these two heads i think they're amazing i mean the the smile and everything is quite good it's painted but unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't find the body for it. And well, I can try, I guess, heat this up and put it on this. But again, it probably won't sit right. Uh, but my favorites are these ones. Yeah. The ones which got a bit of a character in them. Thank you guys for watching. If you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, and uh, have a lovely time.